Really cool gear. Footwear has never been more important where form meets function meets fashion, and a company that absolutely embodies that is Oliberte Fairtrade Footwear. I'm here with the founder, Tal Dediar. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Nice yeah. to see you. Thanks. You too. Uh, congratulations on beautiful stuff. We try. We try hard. T tell the story. So we're the first company basically to make fair trade footwear anywhere in the world. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all made in sub-Saharan Africa. We own the factory. It's in Ethiopia. Uh, been around five years and started with men's and now we're moving into women's and brand just continues to grow, inspire and kind of lead the change with fantastic product. I'm a little surprised, honestly, that you're the only fair trade footwear company, but you must love that category from a branding perspective. Yeah, you know, it's uh, we will never be the biggest company in the world, but we always want to be kind of that leader in responsible change. Uh, the only place you save in a company is labor. We said, you know, we're going to take that stance. We're not working in Africa because it's cheap or it's easy. We're working there because we're trying to show, hey, if you can make it in Africa, you can make it anywhere in the world. So yeah, no, I mean, for us, uh, yeah, we're very proud that we're the only fair trade certified shoe company, but you know, hopefully there'll be more in the future. Nicely played. Let's talk about these awesome rigs for your feet. Yeah, so uh, the, all our shoes kind of come on, on spins on African cities. So this is the, the Adibo, which is a play on Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. This is our three-hole chukka boot. It's the number one shoe since day one. Everything's made with natural cow leather, goat leather lining, natural rubber outsoles. From there, we move on to the Mogado High, named after Mogadishu, capital of Somalia. This is probably our most unique, classic-looking boot. It's kind of the quasi chukka as well. Again, natural rubber, uh, rubber outsole, cow leather upper. And then if you look real carefully, on the back of every shoe, we actually reverse the leather. It's a comfort feature. So it's nice and easy. Leather's great, and so we want to make sure it's, it kind of stays that way. What we're really excited about is for next spring is we're introducing for the first time ever sneakers. All our leather is what you can see is there's natural like defects. And, you know, we want to celebrate the, the life of the animal. But at the end of the day, in case you ever get lost, it's all about you know, knowing where you are, knowing your roots. And so you'll always see kind of the map of Africa, the map of Ethiopia in our case, you know, on the bottom of our shoes and even sometimes on the insoles. And so that's the sneaker, the Zabillo, comes from men. And then we have the Kinsha for, for women in suede as well. Now that's for next spring. But for this coming fall, which is kind of going on right now, Got some exciting stuff. The Gando, it's our kind of clean combat boot. And if you look at this leather, it's what we call black red polo. So I'll kind of show the cameras here, but as it ages, you start to see the red kind of start coming through it. Sometimes a little too fashion forward for some of the outdoor guys, but it's super great. Um, everything, because it's natural rubber, bends, super flexible, gives that quality. For women, this is the Lalina. Beautiful wedge, rustic brown pull up. It's probably going to be our number one shoe this fall, and so far, you know, we're seeing great results. And then we get into our culture, kind of that hippie, bohemian, sure. and this is the Harari. You get that kind of, this is all hand cut. These aren't knives. We're a handcrafted brand. So you have the women who work, who get paid very well, treated very well, but they're hand cutting. Every single thing on our shoe is hand cut, hand stitched, and again, kind of embodying that kind of African heritage. We always have that on the outside of our soul. So from the Harari to the Lalina, to the men's, to the Gando, to sneakers for next year, uh, to the Mogado High, but we are classics with the African twist, and that's what's built the brand, and that's what continues to build the brand. Well, it's fantastic stuff, and I'm just one guy's vote, but this Gando, I'm voting huge yes. There you that's go. just me. Yeah, I'll put those on your feet real soon. All right, thanks. Tell, uh, tell folks where they can find out more about the brand online. Yeah, you can go to oliberté.com, or you can buy them as well anywhere from REI to Nordstrom's and tons of retailers across the U.S. and Canada. Oh, Liberté.com, great stuff. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks, appreciate it. Cool.